Hello, my name is Nick Hull. Welcome along to the audio brochure for the Autumn Winter 2017 programme presented by Southend Theatres. Online, southendtheatres.org.uk and the box office 01702 35 11 35. Coming up, we'll look at October, November and December. We'll look at one night events plus what's happening at the Maritime Room. We'll even have a sneak preview of 2018. Oh, and because it's almost the end of the year, we'll be looking at this year's fantastic pantomime. First, though, let's have a little look at what's happening right at the end of September. Between Tuesday the 26th and Saturday the 30th, it's crazy for you. It features the classic Gershwin hits, I Got Rhythm, Shall We Dance, Nice Work If You Can Get It, They Can't Take That Away From Me, and Someone To Watch Over Me. It says, high energy, high kicking, and gloriously glamorous. The acclaimed Watermill Theatre production of Crazy For You is the ultimate feel-good musical. Mistaken identities, heartbreak, happiness, and a wealth of memorable tunes. Crazy For You is on at the Cliffs Pavilion between Tuesday the 26th and Saturday the 30th of September. On between those same dates, but at the Palace Theatre, is Death Trap. It says it's a brand new production of the completely unmissable thriller. Stage and television stars Paul Bradley, he was Elliot in Holby and Nigel in EastEnders, and Jesse Wallace, who was Cat Slater in EastEnders, of course. They lead the cast of Death Trap, which it says is a truly satisfying spine chiller that's guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. The basic story behind this one is Sidney Brawl is a once successful writer of stage thrillers. He's in the grip of chronic writer's block when young playwright Clifford Anderson sends him a brilliant new whodunit called Death Trap, desperate to set Brawl away alight once more. Should Brawl kill the newcomer and pass the playoff as his own? Death Trap at the Palace from Tuesday the 26th to Saturday the 30th of September. Coming up at the Palace Theatre between Monday the 9th and Saturday the 14th of October is The Wiper Times. Ian Hislop and Nick Newman's The Wiper's Times tells the true and extraordinary story of the satirical newspaper created in the mud and mayhem of the Somme. The Wiper's Times is coming to Southend direct from a record-breaking West End season. It says, in a bombed-out building during the First World War in the Belgian town of Ypres, mispronounced wipers by British soldiers, two officers discover a printing press and create a newspaper for the troops. Defying both authority and gas attacks, it proves a huge success with the troops on the Western Front. The Wipers Times at the Palace from Monday the 9th to Saturday the 14th of October. On between Tuesday the 10th and Saturday the 14th of October at the Cliffs Pavilion is beautiful, the Carol King beautiful, uh, musical. The Olivier and Tony award-winning West End and Broadway show is coming to South End as part of its first ever UK tour. Long before she was Carol King, the chart-topping music legend, she was an ordinary girl with an extraordinary talent. Beautiful tells the inspiring true story of King's remarkable rise to stardom. That's beautiful. The Carol King musical at the Cliffs Pavilion between Tuesday the 10th and Saturday the 14th of October. So that's it for October. In a moment, in the next section, we'll be looking at what's happening in November, presented by Southend Theatres. Hello and welcome to this next section of the audio brochure for the Autumn Winter 2017 programme presented by South End Theatres. In this section we'll look at November and December. We begin with Wait Until Dark, which is by Frederick Knott. It's starring Jack Ellis, who's appeared in Prime Suspect and Bad Girls, and Oliver Miller, who's appeared in Coronation Street. It's on at the Palace between Tuesday the 30th of October and Saturday the 4th of November. This, for your information, is a 12-plus production. From the hand of Frederick Knott, author of Dial M, for murder and the producers behind Night Must Fall and Birdsong comes, it says, a major revival of the classic edge-of-your-seat thriller Wait Until Dark. Set amidst the social turbulence of 60s London, the play follows the story of Susie, a blind woman who, left alone in her apartment, becomes embroiled with a group of con men hatching an elaborate scam. As the tension notches up, Susie is left to fend for herself, but with the phone lines cut dead and the house plunged into darkness, doesn't that always happen? Can Susie outwit the murderous visitors? Wait Until Dark is on at the Palace from Tuesday the 30th of October until Saturday the 4th of November. 
The next item we're going to be looking at is now on at the uh, Cliffs Pavilion. It's called Nativity the Musical. I suppose we had to have something like this as we're approaching the end of the year. It's your favourite festive film live on stage, it says here. It's on between Wednesday the 15th and Sunday the 19th of November. It says every child in every school has one Christmas wish to star in a nativity. And St Bernadette's School? Well, they're attempting to mount a musical version. Only trouble is teacher Mr Madden has promised that a Hollywood producer is coming to see the show to turn it into a film. Join him, his teaching assistant, the crazy Mr Poppy, hilarious children and a whole lot of sparkle and shine as they struggle to make everyone's Christmas wish come true. That's Nativity the Musical at the Cliffs Pavilion between Wednesday the 15th and Sunday the 19th of November. It stars Daniel Boys, Sarah Earnshaw and Simon Lipkin. Now, because we are at that time of year, almost, we, we should look ahead really to this year's pantomime. And it's spectacular. It is Jack and the Beanstalk, the giant pantomime spectacular starring Lee Mead, Stacey Solomon, Bobby Davro and Robin Asquith. The pantomime this year is on between Saturday the 16th of December and Sunday the 7th of January. There are various times, there are afternoon matinees as well. If you want more details, please go online if you can to southendtheatres.org.uk or give the box office a call on 01702 35 11 35. Jack and the Beanstalk, this year's pantomime at the Cliffs. Lee Mead, Stacey Solomon, Bobby Davro and Robin Asquith are the stars. More details on that from the box office, as I say, or online. And to finish off this section, on between Thursday the 21st and Saturday the 30th of December, at the Dixon Studio is Snow Play. You've got to do this kind of thing at this time of year. What would you do if one year winter decided to stay and moved into your house? Well, that's what happens in our snowy spectacular show, where you are guaranteed a white Christmas, no matter what the weather or indeed the time of year. Snow play is a showdown, it says, between winter and spring, over who gets to stay and who has to go away. Fascinating. So that's November and December. In the next section, we'll be looking at some of those one-night events being presented by South End Theatres. You're listening to the audio brochure for the Autumn-Winter 2017 programme presented by South End Theatres. My name is Nick Hull. In this section, we look at some of the one-night events all the way through from October to December. And I'll be honest with you, there are so many. I'm just going to try and give you a flavour of some of those big one-night events. Starting with 60s Gold on Sunday the 1st of October at 7.30 at the Cliffs. This is the final Jerry and the Pacemakers tour. It's their farewell tour at the Cliffs on Sunday the 1st of October. On the same night at the Palace Theatre, Macca, the Paul McCartney story. Dr Hooker on at the Cliffs Pavilion on Wednesday the 4th of October. That starts at 7.30. If you like a bit of comedy, Andy Parsons is appearing at the Palace Theatre on the same night, Wednesday the 4th of October. Sticking with our one night events, and there's plenty to go at, so I'll just flick through a few. A bit more comedy from Jimmy Carr on Tuesday the 17th of October. That's at 8pm at the Cliffs Pavilion. Musically, on Wednesday the 18th, it's Gary Newman with his Savage Tour at the Cliffs Pavilion. John Richardson, back to the comedy. The Old Man Tour is on at the Cliffs on Sunday the 22nd of October. That's at 8pm. Mark Almond appears at the Cliffs Pavilion on Monday the 23rd of October. Squeeze are at the Cliffs on Tuesday the 24th of October. And Rick Wakeman appears at the Palace on Friday the 27th. That starts at 8pm. Calabro, they are appearing at the Cliffs Pavilion on Monday the 30th of October. Doors open at 7pm for that particular show, which I'm sure will be absolutely fabulous. Back to the music again now with a popular variety, if I can say that, having just talked about Calabro. The Stylistics, remember them. They're appearing at the Cliffs Pavilion on Sunday, November the 5th. Bound to be fireworks on that night, he says, trying to make a cheap joke. Also on the same night, Sunday the 5th of November, Simon Amstel appears at the Palace Theatre. On Wednesday the 8th of November, it's a tribute to Prince. It says a celebration of Prince. It's Purple Rain at the Cliffs on Wednesday the 8th of November. Sticking with the one-night events, on Sunday the 12th of November, in the afternoon at 3pm at the Cliffs Pavilion, it's the last night of the Autumn Proms featuring the London Concert Orchestra. 
Singing in the Rain is on at the Palace Theatre on Wednesday the 22nd of November through to Saturday the 25th. Wednesday to Saturday shows at 7.30 as well as Thursday and Saturday 2.30 matinees. That's Singing in the Rain at the Palace from Wednesday the 22nd to Saturday the 25th of November. Scouting for Girls appear at the Cliffs Pavilion on Thursday the 23rd of November. The legendary Lulu is on at the Cliffs on Saturday the 25th of November. That show starts at 8. Will she be wearing her hat or not? Well, we'll find out when she appears at the Cliffs on the 25th of November. The following day at the Palace, the one and only Gok Wan, naked and bearing all. That's Gok Wan at the Palace on Sunday the 26th of November at 7.30. Shalimar are appearing at the Cliffs Pavilion on Tuesday the 28th of November. The RF in concert were at the Cliffs on Friday the 1st of December and Catherine Jenkins appears at uh, the Cliffs on Sunday the 3rd of December. Jason Donovan is at the Palace Theatre on Tuesday the 5th of December. Jason Donovan and his amazing midlife crisis tour, it says here. That's not me. Uh, the Overturns appear at the Cliffs Pavilion on Friday the 8th of December. Doors open at 7pm for that. If you like Tina Turner, like my friend Pete does, uh, the Tina Turner experience is on at the Palace Theatre on Friday the 15th of December. And to finish this section, just to highlight the breadth of events on across this period, we have at the Palace Theatre on Saturday the 16th of December at 8pm. It's a 14 plus show. It's an audience with the one, the only, Katie Price. That ends this section. Just a little flavour of some of those fantastic one night events at our special theatres through from October to December. In the next section we'll be looking at some of those massive events coming up this season at the Maritime Room. This is the audio brochure for the Autumn Winter 2017 programme presented by South End Theatres. I'm Nick, and in this section we'll be looking at what's happening at the Maritime Room. Regular events, of course, include Fanny Galore's Big Night Out, Tropicana Nights, Comedy and Curry Club, The Quiz and Curry Club, Balls Out Comedy Club, and the 70s Rewind Dare to Flare. Oh, how that would bring back memories to me if I should go. Some of the live entertainment in the Maritime Room, the Ultimate Motown Night with Che Chesterman. That's on Friday the 22nd of September. Unforgettable, the Nat King Cole tribute is on on Friday the 27th of October. The West End Horror Show is on on Friday the 3rd of November. That's at 7.30. Tickets are £40. Primo Nelson is on on Saturday the 18th of November. There said to be an original heart-hitting funk-inspired groove movement of heavy horns ripping riffs through a thumping funk core. But then, of course, I knew that. Uh, the Ultimate Motown Night is back with Shola Kay live on Friday the 24th of November in the Maritime Room. That's on between 7.30 and 1am, tickets 18.50. Fanny Galore's Big Night Out Christmas specials run on Friday the 1st of December and Friday the 22nd of December. They're on between 7pm and 1am, tickets the bargain price of £20. Tropicana Nights, the ultimate 80s Xmas party night, is Saturday the 9th of December between 8pm and 1am. Tickets £15. Counterfeit Quo, status quo tribute, are on on Friday the 29th of December. Tickets there, £12.50. And the Rolling Stones, actually, the Rolling Stoned, just so you know, it's not actually Mick Jagger and Co. The Rolling Stoned appear at the Maritime Room on Saturday the 30th of December at 8pm. Tickets are £14. So those are some of the events coming up as we head towards Christmas at the Maritime Room. In the next section, we'll be looking ahead to some of the fantastic shows you can look forward to at our special South End Theatres, the Cliffs and the Palace in 2018. Can you believe we're already head looking ahead to next year? This is the audio brochure for the Autumn Winter 2017 programme presented by South End Theatres. I'm Nick. In this final section, we'll be looking ahead to some of the fantastic shows you can look forward to in 2018. Let me remind you, though, that Jack and the Beanstalk is the giant pantomime spectacular on this year between Saturday the 16th of December and Sunday the 7th of January at the Cliffs Pavilion. It features Lee Mead, Stacey Solomon, Bobby Davro and Robin Asquith. If you want more details... They can be found online at southendtheatres.org.uk or indeed you can go to the box office by calling 01702 35 11 35. So the panto takes us from this year into next year 
And looking ahead to next year, 2018, some fantastic shows coming up. We start off with Son of a Preacher Man, a new musical. It's based on the book by Warner Brown, featuring the songs of Dusty Springfield. Who else? It's directed and choreographed by Craig Revel Horwood. It's on between Tuesday the 16th and Saturday the 20th of January at the Cliffs Pavilion. Also on at the Cliffs between Monday the 29th of January and Saturday the 3rd of February is Sunset Boulevard. Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical is a glorious thriller-minute triumph, according to the Daily Telegraph. Rhea Jones is Norma Desmond. That's singing at that Sunset Boulevard, forgive me, at the Cliffs Pavilion between Monday the 29th of January and Saturday the 3rd of February. Kay Miller's Fat Friends the Musical, with music by Nick Lloyd Webber, starring Jodie Prenger, Sam Bailey and Natalie Anderson, is on at the Cliffs between Monday the 19th and Saturday the 24th of Fe- uh, February. At the Palace Theatre from Monday the 19th to Saturday the 24th of March, is something that I am going to be going to watch. Great Expectations, Charles Dickens, directed by Michael Fentiman. It's on, as I said, at the Palace between Monday the 19th and Saturday the 24th of March. Charles Dickens's classic novel, Burst to Life, on stage. Vincent Simeone and Flavia Cacace star in Tango Moderno, a tango for today, at the Cliffs Pavilion between Tuesday the 3rd and Saturday the 7th of April. They're back. Back, back, I say. If you like dancing, that is the show for you. Hairspray is a feel-good West End and Broadway hit musical. It returns to South End for one week only at the Cliffs between Monday the 14th and Saturday the 19th of May. And we round off this audio brochure with news of the legend living on Thriller, featuring the songs of Michael and the Jackson Five, direct from London's West End at the Cliffs between Monday the 4th and Saturday the 9th of June. Well, I hope we've been able to give you a little bit of a flavour of some of the fantastic shows on at the Cliffs Pavilion, the Palace, or the Dixon, or indeed in the Maritime Room, courtesy of Southend Theatres. If you want to find out more, online, southendtheatres.org.uk, or you can go to the box office, give them a ring on 01702 35 11 35.